Welcome to this brief tutorial about pivot tables. Matthew McDonald, author of Excel, The Missing Manuals, describes pivot tables as, quote, just a convenient way to build intelligent, flexible summary tables. Nothing more, nothing less, end quote. The convenience comes in the form of being able to take any list in an Excel spreadsheet, pivoting the view so only certain elements in the spreadsheet can be analyzed while maintaining the data's original structure. What we have here is a spreadsheet of a year's worth of calls for service to a city's police department. What we can do is find out the day of the year with the most calls for service. First, we go to the Insert tab. Then go to Pivot Table. It will then ask us if we want to use the full range of the spreadsheet and if we want to use a new worksheet. For that, we will say OK. Over to the right of the screen is our field list. Here are the column labels from the spreadsheet. To find the day of the year with the most calls for service, we will take date of report and drop it into row labels. Next, we'll take the number of incidents into values area. To find the day that had the most calls for service, highlight any cell in the count of incidents numbers column. Then go to the home tab and over to the right is sort and filter. Here select sort largest to smallest. Now that we have the day sorted from the most to least calls for service, and we know from the spreadsheet that the city divides itself into five areas, we can see how many calls for service each area received by dropping area into the column labels. Now we can see the numbers of calls for service in each area of the city from the busiest day of the year to the least busiest day of the year.